We're going to take a look at font size and line height now because these play an important part of what we do on the web and can sometimes, due to the cascading nature of style sheets, lead us into some kind of areas where we end up in trouble with the way that typefaces look. So let's just take a quick look at how we can deal with that. So here I am in my code editor and I'm going to look at the CSS to start off with and we put Open Sans in and IBM uh, Plex Serif before. Uh, let's take a look at the typeface size, the font size, first of all. And font size by very default is always set to 16 pixels. That's its size by default. So if I type that in, nothing should really change on the page. If I comment that out, we see there's no changes in the background. There's nothing happening down here. It stays the same. So that's the default size of any typeface. We, we, so we don't need that in, we can get rid of it. That is also known as 1M as well. You sometimes see an M as a, a size. So font size 1M is 16 pixels. Therefore, it's always good to use something like um, the M system because it doesn't rely on uh, exact pixel measurements and it scales accordingly. So if the typeface scales, then so does um, the M system. So for line height, it's always better to have a little bit of space between the lines just to make it that much easier to read. At the moment, the default is okay. You can kind of read that, but if I increase it to 1.6 M, you can see immediately there was a change in the background. Let's go take a look at that. We can see there's just a little bit more space between there and it starts to get better. Play around with that. Uh, 1.8 is gonna give you even more. Two is going to be like a double line height almost. And those kind of things will really help legibility on the web and make it much easier. So I usually go for somewhere between 1.6 and 1.8, depending on what project I'm particularly working on at that time. Let's also look as well at changing uh, the size of our type on the heading one. So the heading one is just gonna sit here and I'm gonna add in here something like this to make it a little bit bigger. Now in the world of responsive type, we, this often happens. Suddenly the width of something becomes too small and the type drops down and we've got a problem. The problem is We've got this 1.6M and we're using 3.2M as our size. So the easy way around this and really simple solution is to change the line height of this. And if you change the line height of this to 1M, it is 1M of 3.2. So it therefore always will work on there. And so there's a really easy way to always make sure you get around there. Let's do the heading two as well. And we'll kind of do the same sort of thing. So let's duplicate that, uh, make that heading two. And it's too big for what we want at the moment. Let's scale that down a little bit to 2.4. And that is much better. So now we can see that there is our typography kind of working nicely. Now later on, we'll also take a look at what these blue bars are that we're seeing here on the screen and we'll make that work for us as well. But there you go, a very simple introduction there to font size and line height, which are really important uh, for laying out on the web.